Have you ever heard someone say, I'm just not a math person? Maybe you've even said it yourself. Many of us feel tension, apprehension, and fear of situations involving math. This is called math anxiety. Math anxiety is different from just not liking math. It's a physical and mental response that can be crippling and keep you from performing at your best because your brain is spending too much energy on being anxious. In addition to affecting day-to-day -day math performance, math anxiety can keep students away from entire career paths as they seek to avoid math courses altogether. So, how can we stop math anxiety from spreading? Well, children start developing math anxiety in the early grades, and when parents and teachers have anxiety about math themselves, they can pass it on. One important strategy for teachers is becoming aware of how they talk to students about math. First of all, don't disparage your own math skills. Teachers should also avoid consoling a struggling student by saying, it's okay, not everyone can be good at these types of problems. The student might think you mean, I'm sorry you failed, math is too hard for you. A better way to support a student would be to say, yes, this is challenging, but I'm confident that you can work through it if you stick with it. Follow this up by offering concrete strategies for studying or other ways to approach the problem. Practicing mindfulness is another way to combat math anxiety. There are many mindfulness techniques that involve simply relaxing and attending to the present moment, which can help the brain focus on doing math instead of getting distracted by anxiety. Recent studies have shown that students who participated in mindfulness exercises reported feeling more calm during math exams and had more correct responses than students who didn't participate. Mindfulness activities can take as little as three minutes. To have a successful mindfulness activity, follow these three tips. One, explain the purpose of the activity to help students relax, focus, and prepare to learn. Two, prepare your classroom. Make sure students have the necessary physical space and are comfortable in the room. Younger students can sit on the floor, against the wall, or at a desk. Three, read your activity script in a calm, relaxed manner, pausing between lines to allow students to take in their experience. Being conscious of the way we speak to students and using mindfulness activities are ways you can help your students be more successful in reducing math anxiety. For more information on evidence-based strategies to address math anxiety, go to ies.ed.gov slash ncee slash edlabs.